Hello folks. So I'm here to do <clears throat> an, an, an initial review of the Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, Contour Palette as well as the uh, face brush. So this is what um, the palette looks like. It's composed of cardboard and it's about three quarters of an inch thick and it's fairly sturdy. Actually no, sorry, it's very sturdy. And um, it comes with a magnetic enclosure and it has a very large mirror. So for the purpose of this review I'm just going to cover the mirror. Um, and this is uh, what the powders look like. So you have um, these two powders which sort of run on um, a pinker shade. So this highlight powder is more pink. This one's more yellow and this one is more peach. We'll just go across. The names are Levitation, Lyric, and Lucid. And then these two contour powders are on the cooler side and this one's on the warmer side. And this one's called Subconscious, Shadow Play, and Somber. So there's quite literally a powder here for everyone. Um, it's a very versatile palette. Um, and if you can't use all the powders, you can always repurpose them as eyeshadows. Um, the powder, the contour powders are 4.5 grams and the highlight powders are 2.3. So there are, is a lot of product here. Um, a lot more than any of the other um, contouring palettes I've seen, uh, like the Anastasia one, which I had but simply uh, didn't work for me. It was uh, a little bit too much on the warm side and the product was a bit on the sheer side as well. So I had to really build it up. Uh, f for you to notice any um, difference and you can see the photos for that on my Instagram account linked below and so I'm looking forward to using this and my next video will be um, you know more in-depth review actually utilizing the, um, the products the powders and so that's that <clears throat> the face brush retails for 43 Canadian, 36 American, and the um, face palette retails for 55 Canadian, 46 American. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention about the, that palette as an initial review. And then uh, next is the, um, the Shade and Light Contour Face Brush. Um, it comes in this plas plastic packaging. It looks very sleek um, however it is sort of you know a cheaper lightweight plastic and you'll you'll hear and notice that when I open it it's very hard to open and um, it just doesn't feel how it should it doesn't feel how it looks um, but uh, you know not every brush comes with such nice packaging so this is sort of an, an added bonus um, and you can sort of see how the um, mold looks. Um, it's kind of, you know, on the cheaper side. And this is the brush. Um, one is an angled tip, the other is dome shaped. And this is what it looks like. And then this is the dome shape. Uh, one is, <clears throat> it says shade on one side, light on the other. However, you can use it uh, to suit your needs however you like. Um, and I can't confirm, but I do believe the bristles are made, uh, are synthetic. So I don't think they're a natural hair, which is great. And it is, everyone does this, but it's super soft. Um, I've, I've had softer, but <laughs> I don't think anyone ever says that. Um, but it is very soft. So I'm really looking forward to being able to you know, use the brush uh, with the palette. That's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I think I sort of covered everything that you need to know about the, the product as, you know, an initial review. My next video is going to delve more into the actual product itself and how the brush works with uh, the palette. So, um... Feel free to subscribe so you, you can see that video when it comes out. And uh, thanks for watching my video. And feel free to leave a comment or any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.